My great-grandfather, William Wrigley Jr., came to Catalina with his family in 1919. It developed into a passion of his to preserve it, to improve it, and to share it. One thing that we have tried to keep in mind as each generation has taken over this legacy is how fortunate we are to have the opportunity to make a difference in the world. At USC Dornsife, we have a responsibility towards being guardians of the quality of life for a common future. The Wrigley Institute provides us with an opportunity to not only explore the scientific basis for things like climate change, but also to provide answers to those challenges. And very few universities have institutes that can bring disciplines together and unite them so that they can talk to one another and understand different perspectives. And all of those perspectives are necessary in order to develop the solutions needed to live in a more sustainable world. We have the ability to actually be leaders in the region and in the nation, not just on our coast, but globally. The research we do in my lab is focused on the base of the food chain in marine systems. So understanding the diversity of those microscopic organisms and understanding how they all come together to, to form a, a food web is really the focus of our work. It's easy enough to talk about the problems of fisheries and the problems of aquaculture and their sustainability, but it is harder to come up with solutions. And I feel like our work is addressing the solutions in terms of at least the improving the efficiency of aquaculture as an enterprise. While I was diving off the coast from the Wrigley Institute, I realized that amidst these corals, I may have discovered a new organism living inside of the polyps of the corals. We can come out to Catalina and collect the hard physical data on the surf grass meadow that's in Big Fisherman's Cove. Then we do a lot of the analysis back at the main campus in LA. Research is something that I'm thinking about doing in the future, and so Catalina and the whole Wrigley Institute has just really opened that door. We educate students at all levels, and that is the first step toward creating the next scientist in the new minds for tomorrow. You will never see a child more motivated, more hungry to learn, more, more intense about what they're learning when it's about science. Having the Wrigley Institute be able to help me develop my expertise has been an invaluable resource. Having USC and the Wrigley Institute involved, it's just a tremendous partnership between the university and the community. The environmental solutions of our century require bold and innovative thinking. At the Wrigley Marine Science Center, we have laboratories and we have the beautiful conference center, the George and Mary Lou Boone Center for Science and Environmental Leadership. Scientists from USC and other universities, both nationally and internationally, can come and conduct research on Catalina Island. I hope the Institute will continue to be a place where high-level folks come to really think hard about our environmental challenges and come up with the best solutions. The Institute is staffed by top-flight scientists and educators who fortunately have the full support of the administration of the university to go wherever science leads them. And I think that's a marvelous opportunity. We all need to work together as a team there's so much that USC can bring to this and to offer in terms of resources and bright minds and innovation. We stand at a unique moment in history. The future of the Wrigley Institute is to leave a footprint on this world where people will say how bold they were to have seized the moment and to have changed the world for the better.